Maybe we'll be able to get some mons in here or something. Let's see. Make sure to wear lots of suntan lotion. A sunburn can really harsh your mellow. Hmm. Yes, but it can bring up my melatonin. Huh? Huh? Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Uranium Genderlock. My name is Ectric, and we are here in episode 14, and we are in the power plant area. And we had quite a time in the last episode. Um, we've been trying to recover from that one bot, uh, one sailor that bodied our entire team. And in the end of last episode, we lost two Morons to a static uh, trap something, something poison that was level 30 and almost bodied my team. But... Um, we couldn't even catch it, unfortunately, because it was female, but, um, we're gonna be trying to to move on and build up our team again, so, if you're enjoying this series so far, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and you'll be able to catch every single episode of this series and all of the other ones as they come out. But regardless, let's get continue on with going back to the mainland so we can get ourselves some more encounters and possibly, you know, actually take on the gym and stuff in Beale Beach. Hello, Drake, do you have a question for me? Um, let's see, strange Pokemon. Yes, there's something odd about the wild Pokemon here. They're usually aggr unusually aggressive and a different color from normal. We think it might be due to the low level ambient radiation. If you capture them and try to use them in battle, they might not listen to you. Although they seem to learn stronger attacks than ordinary Pokemon. Oh God, they don't even listen to you all the time? Oh no. Well, that sucks. All right, am I supposed to go back now? Um. What am I supposed to do? Hey, boss says nobody is allowed back here anymore. The place is going to be demolished soon. Okay, so we can't go back there now. We already got our encounter. Um, let's go back and leave. Huh? You again? So I guess you want to sail back to Route 7, eh? Yes. All aboard. Thank you. All right. So we can't go back to the power plant anytime soon. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get ourselves a Beale Beach encounter. Um, because there's no encounters in this sand, apparently. Um, so I need to go and get myself a, uh, fishing rod. But first, let me go grab the mons in my PC and put them, put them on my team. Because right now I've got two dead mons in my, uh, party. So let's go over here and check things out. So we're gonna go move Pokemon. Oh, I forgot I had Jack-Jack. Okay, so we will have a team of six on the team. Or a team of six, but it'll just be a bunch of electric types, unfortunately. Well, actually, no, I only have two electric types now. One of them's dead. Poor door. Got him leveled up just to have him die. Oh, um, let's go and put the out in. It is normal nuclear type. All right, and we'll put you in place of here. Good. And there we go. Okay. So, wow, this is a pretty, uh, full death box right here. Granted, six of them were from one battle, two of them from another, and then one of them was just stupid, but... Uh, I miss a bunch of those mons. Not all of them, some of them could, could be, stay dead and I'd be okay with it, but... Man. Alright, um, can I go through this subway at all? No? I, I really wish there was an easier way to get around town. Or get around through the towns. Hooey! Bell Beach is bigger than I ever could have imagined. The lights, the sounds, I ain't got the first idea what I should do here. Well, who knows. Oh wait, I forgot I never went into the seat casino. Let's try that. Maybe we'll be able to get some mons in here or something. Let's see. Make sure to wear lots of suntan lotion. A sunburn can really harsh your mellow. Hmm. Yes, but it can bring up my melatonin. Huh? Huh? Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> I just want to stay here and never leave. Until my pockets are empty, that is. Hmm. Interesting. Each year, my family vacations here for several weeks. I won't settle for anything less. Okay. Um, Pokemon Lottery Corner. Um, if the draw number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, you could win fabulous gifts. Uh, sure, why not? 
Okay, what is it? Your lotto ticket number is 32353. Uh, doesn't match anything. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well. Let's see. Welcome to the world-famous beachside resort and casino. May I help you? Um... No help me. Okay. So we'll go over here. What do we got here? Uh... Yes, please. Oh, I can only buy coconut milk. Alright. That's fine. Um... I'm gonna hold off on buying those because I wanna try and, um... I wanna try and get some money for the casino. If I can. Hello there, trainer. Hi. For a small fee, I can make your Pokemon the happiest it can be. Oh, that's cool. Um, hmm. I don't know if any of these evolve with, uh, friendship. So I'm just gonna stick with this for now. I have to look up how these mons evolve, because some of them probably have use evolution stones and such. Alright, let's see. Um, anyone... I think I probably need, like, a coin case or something for the casino, don't I? I'm happy for you. I'm glad you're on a romantic date together. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, hello. Hey, this area is not for kids. Oh, I see, you're a Pokemon trainer. Pokemon battles are basically a kind of gambling anyway, so there's no reason I shouldn't allow you to enter. <laughs> That's the worst logic I've ever heard, but okay. I'll take it. Uh... Not to mention, you may want to win the many rare Pokemon we offer as prizes. Ooh! Oh, and we get a coin case for free. Thanks. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can't win anything in the game corner. Alright, or the casino, rather. Next door? Um, let's see. Yes, I would like to buy... 50 coins. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. Not no funny business. You hear? You're on a camera. Cool. Are you gonna give me any coins? I'm gonna talk to all the people just to make sure I can maybe get some free coins. But if not, um, every day, day I take my winnings to this here casino and gamble all day long. I always end up with more than I started out with too. I like your style, kid. Here's a little gift from me to you. Hey, we got to sell some coins. I knew I should have talked to everyone. Thank you. Um. Okay, this guy doesn't give me anything. Do you? Uh, Voltorb Flip is a low-stakes, low-payout game. I actually find it very relaxing to play. See if we can get a good streak going. Ooh, Voltorb Flip? That one's a game not a game of chance. Oh, I love this one! Alright, um, so this one has... only one Voltorb and five in it. Um, I need to remember... Okay, so this one has nothing in it, so we can flip all this. Okay, so we can flip all of these ones. Got all of these... Good. Um, I love this one. I love this game. All right, good, 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 and good. Um, so this one has six and three ones in it. Um, this one has a three, a two, and a two, maybe? Three, two, one, one. No, it's got one two in it left. Um, this one has four ones in it. Um, this one has three Voltorbs, and a, well, two and a one. So I'm gonna say that this one has a two. Yep. There we go. Got it. Beautiful. Um, I, lo I love this game. Okay, let's do this again. I'm gonna just play some for a bit, um, and we'll I'll cut back once we're done, because this one's a fun one, but it's probably not fun to watch me just do over and over again. So I played for a bunch, and um, I've gotten progressively worse, so I just decided to stop while I was behind. But um, I ended up getting almost 1,600 coins from the 150 I had, so let's go see what we can buy. Alright, let's see, we can get an Outen for 180, a Kinect Monk for 500, a Braille for 2,800. Oh man, 
so close, too. Um, well, not really that close, but... So, I think I will hold off and then get myself a Braillip at 2,000. Uh, unless I want one of these. Um, no. Alright, um, so I'll come back later and get myself an encounter here, but, um, let me see if I can't buy anything. Alright, let's see. 50 coins? No, not, not worth it. Not worth it at this point. Alright, so, let me go and... I'm gonna go out. In between episodes, I will probably play some more and get some more coins so that we can, uh... Get ourselves a Braille lift. But, for now, we're gonna stick with just going in here and maybe take on some of the, uh, people in the gym. Because that would be useful. Um, get myself some experience, hopefully. Um, we've got ourselves the new team, which looks like this. Um, obviously. Um, I don't know which, <laughs> where, where I left off, um, before the cut, because it's been so long, but let's go and take on the gym. <sighs> okay, let's see. Is this a water gym? If it is, I'm probably in a bit of trouble, but yeah, it's definitely a water gem. Um, so it's looking like purple's probably going to be the perfect mod to take this thing, this gym on. Hopefully. Unless it's got, they got a bunch of ice types, in which case, I guess I'll go into Barunga. Okay, let's see. Kokoran. Level 24. Do not like that at all. Alright, um, Mega Drain. Sandtune. Uh, Alright. Fine. Okay, we're gonna get whittled down a bit there. That's fine. Another sand tomb shouldn't do too much. Alright, we're good. We'll have to heal from here, but... Actually, yeah, we'll have to heal. Okay, good. I really wish they wouldn't just keep using sand tomb, but I'm not gonna get that lucky, am I? Um, don't use that. Medicine... Super potion. Yes. Alright. Purple, heal yourself up. Good. Crab hammer. Okay, that didn't do too much. We're good there. Um, now we can use another Mega Drain. Is this grass and... Or water and ground type, maybe? Or grass and ground type? Water, grass? Alright, let's use another Mega Drain. Sand Tomb. Shouldn't kill. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um, we'll use one more Super Potion. Heal ourselves up here. Man, I am pretty much broke. I should probably throw the amulet coin on someone up front so that we uh, have a fighting chance to get some money to buy more healing items. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you. Oh, why did you have to live? Why did you have to live? All right. Got to burn another Super Potion. I could probably switch into, uh... Purunga for this last shot, but I want to give purple the kill. Oh, perfect. Okay. Use Absorb here. Dude, we are so slow. I mean, we are three levels lower, so it makes sense, I suppose, but still, it is brutal. Um, Folrog. I think that's the poison type one, right? So, Licky Nicky. Licky Nicky should be able to live any sort of poison attacks. Unless there's a water type, in which case... I should probably send someone else out. Uh, this thing might have water type moves. Um, we're gonna find out. Sludge. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't... that still does a lot. Alright, um, knock off again, I guess. Sludge again. That was a crit. Okay, um... We'll use a super potion. We're gonna round out healing items. This might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Um, fight. Knock off. Okay. Don't crit, don't crit. Okay. Um, let's switch into someone else. Sludge is gonna do too much to purple, so let's go into... Ben's gonna... It's gonna be super effective on Ben. Jack-Jack has no moves. I guess Purunga? Purunga's our only shot? Hopefully it doesn't do too much to him on this shot. Um, 
Hmm. Do I risk it? I do. I'm not- I'm gonna- I'm gonna risk either a high roll or a crit. Oh, that doesn't do anything. I forgot it's not very effective. Okay, let's heal here. We're fine now. Um, we can tank two hits of that, I think. So we should be okay. As long as it doesn't crit. And we'll use Assurance next time. Okay. Yes. I think we can live... Oh, god. Mmm, I really wish I'd used Assurance. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, it poisoned us. Crap. Okay. Um, let's use the coconut milk, because I think that also heals the poison. And then... Yeah, we're good. Okay, good. Perfect. Whew. Don't poison me again. Alright, now... Assurance. We're faster. Kill it. Kill it. There we go. Down goes the fuller out. Jeez. Alright. Down it goes. Down it goes. Okay. So that was a bad idea, and we shouldn't have done that, but... <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so... How long is it? It's definitely only been like 15 minutes. Um, I already kind of want to go and end this episode off real early. But I also don't want to, like, stress you guys out in case you think that I'm g I died, and that's why it's so short. But, um, let's see. Who do we got, and who do we want to get? Let's see. So Jack-Jack's kind of just going to be death fodder, I think, at this point. Um, he's not going to be too useful, um, especially at that level. And our only Mon that's even, like, our, our highest level Mon, who is, like, way over level compared to the rest of the team, is only, like at the level of the rest of the mons that I'm going to be facing against. Um, you know what? I think I will actually call this an early episode. I'll do... Uh, I'll figure it out, but I'm going to call this an early episode, and I'm going to do a bunch of grinding and stuff, and a uh, bunch more grinding. I'm going to get some a new mon with the... or get enough coins to get the braille up, and we're going to go at this another time. But for now, I think we'll just call it here. It's early, I apologize, but... Um, I just don't want to lose by forcing uh, interesting content into this episode. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode, as short as it might have been. Um, and if you did, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel, and you'll be able to catch every single episode of this series and all of the other ones as they come out. But regardless, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.